His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Benue State, Right Honorable Gabriel Suswan, His Royal Highness Dr. Alfred Akawe Tukura, um, Her Royal Highness Mrs. Helen Tukura, Honorable Chief Mrs. Kezie Agundu, Honorable Architect Sam Dura, Honorable Commissioner for Lands and Survey, Honorable Mrs. Jessica Doshima, my home mother, Honaka, wife of Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Mrs. Frank Atsimba, wife of Honorable Tim Utsimba, member of Federal House of Representatives, Mrs. Felicia Ike, Magistrate, Benue State Judiciary, Mr. Keste Tena Ikeni, Senior Special Assistant to Governor of Special Duties, my friend, Professor James Dire, former President of MUTA, I would like to come to welcome all of you in Vegas. Uh, I know for all of us coming from the heartland, Nigeria, but I think this heat here, you know, you could see that it's a little hotter than back home. But uh, meanwhile, I think we just have to enjoy what we have here. Um, I'd like you to know that I wrote this speech to talk to you today, having in mind that the governor will be here. He may not be here, but he has the representative and people that probably have his ears. And we will talk as his children, as his external constituency, and also jurisdiction, and maybe the, the message will be taken to him. I'd like to welcome you to the 18th, I mean 17th annual convention of the Muta of Mutual of the TV in America here in Vegas. And you also know that they say whatever happens in Vegas stays here. <laughs> but I will urge you to take our message home and spread it among the team people. So don't let anything that happens in this convention here stay here. It has to go home. We will defy that adage today. It is always an honor to have our father we are chief among us in our midst every year. That shows up that he has not abandoned us and we are still his children. I'm very happy to announce to you that this union, Muta, Muta is 17 years old today and is going on strong. There is no union that does not have its ups and downs. So, in a case with this of ours, it's all the same case. There is no family that is perfect, and so is ours. It is my hope that we will continue to nurture, protect, and cherish our unity. We are all, this is all that we have ourselves. We have to support one another during rough times and celebrate together during good times. I think you will understand with me that as two people being in this country and away from home, we do not have that support of family and immediate friends around when we, when we were growing up. So we all need to support ourselves and protect and help one another. Muta has for the past 17 years embarked on programs to support the causes of the common team man. Our noticeable prominent has been educational assistance program of which it is ongoing and going very well. Just recently, we were honored to have engineer Charles Akure go home and you know, award a 2008-2009 scholarship to 14 brilliant young children that will go to Nigerian universities. And in the last two years, we have conducted the annual health fair in Benue, of which I will admit and present to you that there has never been a program that we instituted 
within Muta that has earned overwhelming acceptance, both from home and abroad, that our acceptance, both from home and abroad, that our, uh, our people have cherished and also, you know, expected it to happen every year. So I will tell you that the health fair project that we initiated initially two years ago has become to us here in America and also for all of you back home like a peanut crunch, which is that grand grand now that when you start eating, you know, you, you can't just stop, you just keep eating. You know. Um, uh, the, 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 you know, like the peanut crunch that once you start eating, there's a desire for more. The last, time, the last one that we had wouldn't have come any other, any other right time than ever. But uh, in this convention, Dr. Awa will later submit a full report that will tell you exactly what happened last time when we were home on a health fair. This achievement is ours, all of us, and we should be proud of it and continue in the coming years to give this, uh, to give the hand to our people back home. With this in mind, I declare that Muta will continue to fight and support the common team man and woman in the best way that we can without prejudice of any kind. <laughs> and again, going further, news has reached me recently when I went home that, you know, it has reached me with a very dismay that the state of our educational system is disappointing. That the same people that we entrust to educate our children are also the ones that their behavior are lowering the standard of education, especially in Nigeria. It's especially true when it comes to female students in our universities and secondary schools. The university professors and lecturers openly coerce and intimidate and blackmail our female students in exchange for sex for better grades. This is unacceptable. 